We're in a Windows Server, and I'm going to show you how to set up a route command that will specifically route out an interface. So you can see I've got two different network interface cards here. So if I go ahead and run the route add command, it's going to randomly pick one of these two network cards to route out that particular traffic. Let's say it picks the one I don't want. So how do you tell it to pick to route off of a specific network card? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first what we need to do is open up a command prompt, an administrative command prompt. And you can see here I've got a command already typed in, which you're going to need to type in, the NetSH interface IPv4 show interfaces command. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And you can see I've got multiple different interfaces. I've got a loopback address, which you can just ignore. But I've also got an interface 2 and an interface 19. So we're going to need to remember that. So let's say that we want our default route to go out through the Ethernet, but we want our route out to another internal subnet to go out through Ethernet 2. Let's go ahead and type in route add, and then we'll put in a network, and we'll say 100.0. And now what we need to do is we need to put in a mask for the subnet mask. So we'll put in 255.255.255.0. So we'll make it a slash 24. And let's say the gateway out to the 100 network is going to be a 192.168.15.200. So on the other side of the 200, IP address is a router that will route to the 100.0 subnet. All right, so that's all great, but now what we need to do is we need to say which interface to go out of. So remember the previous command. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type IF in capital letters, and then we're going to pick which interface we want. So let's go ahead and pick Ethernet 2, which is interface 19. So let's go ahead and type in 19, hit enter, and there we go. So now the route out to the 100 network is going to go through Ethernet 2 out to the 15.200 router and then over to the 100 network. So that's how you add a route by a specific interface, and this works in all versions of Windows.